Collard Valley Cooks in the Kitchen Live tonight. We are going to make some marvelous meatballs. I'm going to make some cream potatoes and some greeny green beans. And I'm only, I'm only making a few. I'm not making a lot of food. Um, and I made this cake today. And I told you guys I would flip it out when I came on here to do supper. So we're going to go ahead and flip it out. Now, I will do a full video for you guys on YouTube. The almonds on the bottom. It is an eggnog pound cake. So we'll slice a piece of that a little bit. But for now, let's just start supper. Well, that's pretty, ain't it? It's tall, too. All right. We're going to step over here. I'm preheating a skillet. And um, you can get around on my left side, Chris. And we're just going to do some grainy green beans. So it takes a while to do them. So today I'm actually going to put them in a skillet and turn it up. And I'm only going to do one can. And that way they'll get done quicker. It always takes a long time for all that juice to evaporate off. But it won't take as long when I'm just doing one. You're going to use about a tablespoon of uh, oil and a teaspoon of sugar. Grab a real teaspoon. Hmm. Well, teaspoon of sugar. And then you're going to want your skillet. You got your potato started. I always do um, my marvelous meatballs with some creamed potatoes. And I usually do green beans or I do green peas, either one. I am freezing today. I don't know why it's so cold, but I know you guys up north have got to be freezing. It's cold down here, and we're on the coast, and I'm just cold today. Well, let me get over here. I'm going to get me some uh, spices out that I use for this. I use a brown gravy mix, and I also use a uh, steak and chop seasoning. So I've got to look for that steak and chop. Here's some right here. When I make this, the other two things I use. So what I do is I take some fresh ground beef, and all I, I I don't even season it first. I make balls, and you need to kind of compact, you know, pack them up together. This is kind of a loose fitting, and I just put them in the skillet. Kind of like a hamburger steak. You yep. like hamburger steak. In small form with gravy, mm -hmm. I guess you'd say. Little kids like it. Oh, my kids love this. And I like it too. This is a good meal to serve. Just about anybody will eat this. Meat and potatoes and green beans. I made that one kind of big, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Once that skillet gets hot and they start to brown, the main thing is you got to make sure and get them done and don't take them out and serve them until you know they're ready. So it takes a few minutes to cook these. And the smaller meatball, of course, the quicker they'll get done. Smaller the meatball. And me and Chris usually eat three a piece. And then if you want to make some for leftovers, you know, for the next day, then you can make more. But I'll make one extra for the dogs. Now typically when I make this, I fill it up. You want me to fill it up, Chris, or do you want me to save no. some of this? Yeah, you don't have to. We'll make something else with it. We'll make, see, we can make two meals now that the kids are gone with this ground beef instead of just one. So normally if the kids were here, i fill it all the way up. But you ain't here no more. You could just about use that little bitty skillet, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. I have got to wash my hands. I got, now they got all that hamburger grease on them. 
The dogs like it. They get, like it. They get excited when you make hamburger or chicken. Oh, they smell it, beef. Mm -hmm. I got a few dishes over here I need to wash. Oh, nice. Yep. Alright, I made some uh, tea today too. I get to have some sweet tea with supper. I used to always have sweet tea made, but I've got some where I don't. Now I got those green beans on the high. I thought I might have had them on high. I got them on my highest setting. My eye that has the highest setting. And Chris, it's just going to look that way because of. That's just how it works. Now, I take steak and chop and I season my meatballs while they're frying with some steak and chop. This is Weber steak and chop. I just put it in a can of. Uh, a jar. Jar. I told Chris, I said, I'm going to go lay down before supper. And I about, he had to come and wake me up. Say, like, what? It's late. Get out of bed. So all you're going to do is grill these meatballs while your uh, potatoes start cooking. Get you something and scrape them off the bottom good. Because if you don't, because this don't have a lot of oil in it yet, they're going to tear to pieces. Or you can use a nonstick. But I've always used my test iron to do these. As long as you turn them, well, good. And you're just going to keep cooking them. And it's going to take a while to get these things done. I made them big, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I might ought to have them. Since we're live, it's going to take a long time. Well, your yeah. potatoes are going to take about 20 minutes, and so is your bean. Yeah. Uh, just Plan on cooking your meat as long as you're going to cook your vegetables. Because mm -hmm. it's going to take that long. And then what we're going to do is mix up some gravy mix to go on them. You can just use the directions. You can use the directions on my recipe book or you can use the directions on this. I usually don't even go by the directions. I just throw it in there and throw some milk in it. But since we got time, I guess I can look at the directions. Well, why do they do that? I don't know. Peel back to look at the recipe, and then when you peel it, it's stuck together. No, I wouldn't worry about Quarter it. cup for one cup. That's what I need to know. So I typically use two, at least two cups of uh, milk, but since it's just me and Chris, I might could get by with just a quarter cup and a cup. Quarter cup of the mix and a cup of milk. Yeah. Normally, I would use two cups of milk, so I would use a little more. It's in my recipe book. So really, you're just making meatballs and gravy. Mm -hmm. Now them taters are hot. And they're singing to us. Yummy. Smell 
smells good already. Stop it. Mm -hmm. I like this meal. Oh, yeah. Roll them around and get them brown on all sides. And sometimes they're stubborn and they, they don't want to pick up and smooth like you want to. Like that one mm -hmm. It makes a mess though. It splatters everything yeah. when you make this. And you can put a lid on it if you want to. I don't because we're live, and if I put a lid on you, it would be awfully boring for y'all. But if you're at home, you can put a lid on it, and that way it won't make such a mess. It also helps the meatballs cook in the middle. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I might have a tin of lid we can use. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Well, these are going, okay. Yeah. Let's put that hamburger meat up while we got a okay. minute. Okay, while we got a minute. We got time. We got plenty of time. We may not. Stay on. I guess we need to stay on. I just wanted y'all to see the cake. We cut the cake while we're waiting to. Yeah. Let y'all see how pretty it looks. Plenty of time. There's a piece of the cake. Let me get on the other side. You want to move the cake over there? What are you going to do? Yeah. yeah. Stay over here. Always on my left side. All right. Beautiful cake. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. I told y'all I wanted it to be tall, and boy, is it tall. This is the. Got to get through the almond. And there you have it. Boy, it smells good, don't it, Chris? Mm-hmm. It's a pretty piece of cake. Mm-mm-mm. This is a nutmeg. Not nutmeg. It's got nutmeg in it. It's an eggnog cake. And it has rum in it. Mm. Boy, this one's going to be hard to stay out of. I can tell you that. Hmm. What a delicious cake. All right. Shouldn't eat this before supper. Let's see if you like it, Chris. Hmm. Well, that is good. It's really good, ain't it? I've never had it. Woo! Can I see that? I've never had an eggnog cake before. Yeah, I don't particularly like eggnog, and that's good. Really good, ain't With it? With that nutmeg, yeah. It's just a hint of nutmeg. Delicious. Not a lot of nutmeg, but mm -hmm. just a hint. Delicious. Sure it is. I say yes on that one. We're getting down the wire, to the wire. Mm-hmm. Look at this, eat cake. Y'all had a good day today? We sure have. 
Chris went fishing. He didn't tell me if he caught anything. Yeah, we did pretty good. Did you? Yeah. Did you video? Yeah. Are you going to post was a, it? Yeah. There was two times. One time, I think the first fish I caught is a pretty good redfish. And Paul was like, okay, Chris has got a fish, you know, and he's videoing and video it. I turned around over and looked. He had it turned totally backwards. He did. <laughs> What's this part? He just cannot get that camera. Yeah, he was like, oh, I can't believe I turned that thing around well, backwards. Let me tell you what Paul can do. Oh, yeah. He can do everything else. He hey. can do anything around the house. And he put in our new faucet yesterday. Yep, yeah, we got a new faucet. Isn't it pretty? So you turn it on. It's got a press button here for spray. Yep. It's nice. Nice. He's a handyman. He's a handyman. Now that's a lot of grease in there and we'll have to drain it off. I bought the cheaper ground beef, so I'm gonna have to get rid of some of that grease. That's for sure. Before I make my gravy. Mm -hmm. The internet went off for a second, y'all. I'm gonna put just a little bit more of the steak and chop in here. Not much, just a little. And then we're gonna cream the potatoes while that makes some gravy. You can turn it down on low now. So now all it's doing is making some gravy. And we're gonna cream these. Cause I need my mixer. Can you go get it? Please? The tasty mixer in there in the cabinet? So we're going to put in a little bit of butter and a little milk. I left a little bit of water in the bottom. That way, you know, you don't have to use quite as much milk when you're creaming them. This was just two medium potatoes. One a piece for us for supper. Oh, let me go ahead and salt and pepper it too while I'm at it. You put any milk in there? Milk in where? In the potatoes? Yeah. No, I haven't got that far yet. Ahead of me, Chris. I never put you milk in. You picked up that thing and you were getting ready to mix it. So. Well, I usually mix it before I put milk in it. Really? Yes, I always do. Huh. Sure do. You ain't watched me much, have you, baby? usually mix it a little bit before I know how much milk I'm going to put in. Especially if I leave a little water in the bottom of it. And of course it's best to do this in the sink. Especially not next to your salt boxes. <laughs> Add a little at a time. And if you want to, you can put, uh, what do you call it? Milk. No. Oh, sour cream in it. <laughs> Milk. Silly. Silly. are about ready. You can see there the juice is gone and that's how you want it to be. So now you're just going to let them sizzle. You can hear them sizzling for a couple of minutes. 
And then they're going to be ready to eat. See how this looks. Didn't get very thick, did it? I think it needs a little bit more. Well, it's fine. You can make it thicker if you if you just add more gravy mix, but this is plenty for us. If you cook it a little longer too, it'll get a little, more, get a little thicker. No. Uh, it's hot enough that it's if it, it's going to get as thick as it's going to get. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't really cook gravy down yeah. because it would burn. Hmm. Uh, it's not like you know, like a thin clear sauce. It's got milk in it. Right. I put ketchup on mine anyway. Chris does. He's so silly. All right. These are ready. These are really close and ready. But when you make my green green beans, make sure you do them this way. If you just want to make one can, you can make them this way. Just a tablespoon of oil, one teaspoon of sugar. Use a sugar substitute if you have to. It's still going to, it should do pretty good anyway. And that's pretty much it. I really want this to be a little thicker. Don't you think it should be? Doesn't matter to me. You don't care? No. All right. It just won't be as pretty when we get it on the plate. That's all right. Okay. Let's make a plate. So we got cake. <laughs> green beans. Grainy green beans. So this is grainy green beans. Enough for two. Then you got the meatballs. See that that gravy is not even gravy. Not gravy to me. I made a mess. Potatoes. When you make marvelous meatballs, you gotta have some potatoes. Okay. too. Gotta have three meatballs at least. We're gonna split one with the pups. Okay. Does that look good or what? Would y'all eat it? Look at that pretty plate. We'll sit it right here. Up high so y'all can see it. Look at there. Looks good, don't it? Even if I did make a mess on the side of the plate. I'll wipe it off so Chris can get a good view so I can do a clip out picture. Boy, them green beans look good, don't they? That's how you want them to look. Them look good. All right, you get a really good close up? Mm-hmm. All right, let me show y'all. So, now it's time to eat. It should be good and done. It should time itself just right for everything to get done about at the same time. Now you got some delicious gravy with your potatoes. And boy, you can't beat green, green beans. Even if they do come out of a can, a lot of people just love them. And if you... Ah. If you have an issue with your timing on a meal, this is a good meal to start with. Yeah, I do. Because it is an easy meal to time out because everything kind of finishes about the same time, don't it? Mm-hmm. You just need to peel your potatoes first, like I did, and get them in some water. Peel them really thin, and um, that way they'll have time to get done. Mm-hmm. Okay. delicious. Work out just right. You couldn't serve that. That meal would make just about anybody happy for real. It's a very kid-friendly meal and people-friendly. Mm -hmm. um, and the star of the show, of course, is this beautiful eggnog pound cake. That's the whole reason I came on live tonight, so you guys could see the final product. Now we've got a lot of cake to eat. Y'all have a wonderful day or not. 
and thanks so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.